Talk Web Fest Friday. I'm delighted to be joined by Indy and Alice from Doomsday Outlaw. So nice to speak to you again. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you again. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It was SOS Fest. I don't know how many years ago, but it was ages. And I think Phil had the same shoes as me or, or very, very similar. And we were sort of comparing them. And, uh, and the film released it. Yeah, he's not here because he's got lovely news, which is that he's had a baby girl recently. So yes, congratulations. Yeah. Alex, we haven't spoken before. So it's really, really no. nice to meet you. Um, I was saying before, it's pretty My much pleasure. a fan since the last one, last time I interviewed Doomsday Outlaw. So um, very nice to meet you. How are you? My pleasure, absolutely. I'm very good, thank you very much. And thank you for inviting us. You're very welcome. Today. I need to know where you're it's from. really nice to meet you. You're not local. So, so where, where have you come from? You've got a beautiful accent. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm originally from Italy, actually. I live in the UK since five years. Yeah. And, but yeah, I uh, assume my accent is still quite strong. But it's thanks lovely. For yeah. yeah, well, I, I think we'll, we'll keep with the interview in English because your English is much better than my Italian. Okay, <laughs> That's what I'm going to say on that. So tell us what you've got in store for us this evening. What kind of set can we expect to see from you? Okay, so um, we released a few songs through 2020. Of a, a, so we've got a new album kind of in the can, ready to go whenever, whenever we're allowed. Um, and so we've got songs from that um, that have been released over, over 2020, a few of the singles. Um, and then a couple of live favourites that we've been playing for years. Um, and then we've got a uh, we've got a cover um, which uh, which is unlike us to actually bother. I know what this cover is. I think I can guess. Can yes. I guess? It's, it's out in the wild now, so yes. <laughs> is it a Black Sabbath cover? It is. It's a Sabbath cover. So we we kind of did that because we'd um, we got uh, we were contacted by the guys from um, uh, Doc Martins when they were um, putting together their Black Sabbath range in October last year and they were looking for some kind of rock bands to tie in um, so it just kind of came out of that really there wasn't there wasn't any great thinking we were just like well you know seeing as we're doing that let's see if we can do a Sabbath track as well um, and rather than going for something obscure we thought we'll you know we'll we'll have a crack at going for for one that everyone knows and uh, kind of put our stamp on it and that's uh, yeah so that's uh, that's what we've got at the end there for for everyone we're pleased with how it came out i mean it's a live session it's a bit rough and ready but it's got a good energy yeah it's and actually, covering war pigs seems to become the the thing the the song du jour because jack j hutchinson did a cover of war pigs not that long ago now you uh, i want to know who else is doing it. i mean maybe you should all just do like a a, a sing-off you know or do your own version of war pigs and we'll see which one we like the best but that's yeah, version is great. Your version also fantastic. So um, yeah, well done. It's not what I would have expected from you at all. Well, this tie up you mentioned with, with Doc Martins, and I, I like I like that phrase tie up with Doc Martins. <laughs> but are you um, are they sort of endorsing you? Are they giving you free boots? I mean, how does it work? Well, we probably can't go into the details. But, um, yeah, they got kind of fun. They, I, I like to say they got. See what you got on your feet. At the moment, I have socks. I'm at home. Of course, of course. I've also got my socks and slippers. So, now I mean, the thing is, we um, so Doc Martens. I mean, they've they've always done like loads of music stuff, going right back to the kind of modern punk stuff. And and like I say, they were doing this uh, this Black Sabbath uh, tie-in with um, the Paranoid cover and and the Black Sabbath cover, I think, on a, on a couple of their boots. Uh, and yeah, so they were just uh, they were just putting out feelers for for rock bands and uh, and landed upon us. And um, again, there's nothing, nothing more complex than that. And, um, you know, and Alex is a massive Docs fan. He's, he's bought them since I've, since I've known him. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, I mean, that's, that's, that's all it is really. So um, yeah, classic, classic British band, uh, British brand. Uh, so we thought, yeah, why not? Why not indeed? And, and you never know, you might get some free boots out of it as well. <laughs> I, I think that's the least they can do quite honestly. Um, so, Let's talk about this album. The album you, you alluded to at the beginning of this conversation. When do you see it being released? Um, well, I mean, it, we've, it's literally been in the camp for a year and a half now. Um, 
So it was written two and a half years ago, recorded two years ago. Uh, we've been ready to go with it for a year and a half, but really we want to, we don't want to just put it out there and not be able to play it live and support it. So that's why it's kind of been held back. Um, so it kind of depends what happens in the next few months. I think um, if things start to open up, things start to settle down over summer, then hopefully we'll be able to um, get the whole thing out towards the end of this year. Um, which would be great because I mean, they're, they're songs that we, they're quite different to what we did before. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, we can't wait for people to hear hear all of it. Um, we've had a really good reaction to the ones, the tunes that we put out, um, and we know that there's there's other tunes on there that are just just as good, just as strong. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Later this year. So what do you have in a diary then for this year? Uh, so we've got Love Rocks uh, in Devon, I think it is uh, in June. Yeah. And then uh, we've got Call of the Wild which uh, I've been trying to get on that for a few years, rather than finally giving in. Um, <laughs> that's July. Uh, and Planet Rock Stock. Again, I've been I've been harassing John at Planet Rock for probably five or six years, and he has finally given in as well. You've given in? <laughs> so <laughs> persistence counts, kids. Um, and then we've got a few other things that, uh, that we're working on. Uh, so fingers crossed we'll have, we'll have a few more things to announce in the next few weeks. Excellent, excellent. Um, something you just mentioned about persisting. How do? What is the best way? What advice would you give to bands that want to desperate to get on at a bill at a, a major festival? Um, you know, such as some of the ones we've just talked about now. What would you say? Because some people would think, right? Well, where does persistence become annoying and bothering somebody to the point where they don't want to hear from you anymore and they want to block you and you know what where how far do you go basically um before you decide no it's a no um i think the main thing is just not to annoy people and because you can you can contact you can talk to people day in day out and not annoy them so you know never be rude never be entitled um and the other thing is always make sure that you've got momentum. You've got to be, the thing about being in a band is you've got to be like a shark. You're always moving because if you do something great in April and then you contact someone in July, April's a lifetime away. So mm -hmm. as long as you're always doing things and then, you know, when you do get some traction with someone, you can point to something recent that's happened and um, never turn anything down if you can help it. The amount of bands I've been in where we were offered a massive break and one person's like, oh, I can't really do it. And then it's gone. And, you know, you never know. That could be the one break that you need. And um, so I'd say, yeah, never, never turn anything down is probably my key thing. If you, if you can at all help it. Can I add maybe a, it will reassume everything in this says it's important to have the most professional approach. The most yeah professional possible approach in every point of view in not letting people down in being uh, professional when uh, when these people have been uh, are contacted uh, on the material you, you have to send them and the um, obviously uh, platforms websites audio videos everything should be uh, absolutely professional and uh, in order to don't let people down and show yourself as a relay a reliable uh, professional in music that's i think it uh, synthesizes what indie says and i think it's very important for for the for this to suggest to the bands out there yeah i totally agree yeah i was gonna say you you'll know this from from your side and that people talk like you know if if you if you are awful to people Sooner or later, everyone knows that you're an awful person, <laughs> and, that's, and, that's, and that's very hard to get back from. It's like you you can't. You just need to treat everyone as though, um, as though they're important. Because I mean, this this isn't about being in a band. This is just life in general and not being a dick. But um, yeah, be, people talk, and you know, you can't afford to um, you can't afford to take advantage of people because it'll come back and bite you. I think that's very, very good advice. Um, basically, treat people how you want to be treated yourself. I, 
I hear every now and then, oh, a band have done this, you know, a promoter doesn't like this band or won't put them because of something they've done years ago. You know, those things stick. People remember. Yeah, like you say, not, not being a dick is really good advice. So oh, I, <laughs> that's what it comes down to, really, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, it's been great catching up with you. And lovely to meet Alice again. Um, look forward to you set this evening and to see you on tour. Take care, guys. Wish Phil and the baby all the best for me. Will do, will do. We will, absolutely. Good to speak to you. Thank God. Lots of love. Thank you very much. Bye. This is rock and roll. Burning down to myself.